All right, guys, this is campaign update number two. A little bit of background. I released my single on February 27th, which is a Saturday. Um, my ads went live that night. And after about 36 hours, I had to go in and pause because it was doing so poorly. Um, normally, I would say give it more time than that, but I'm spending $100 a day and I can't afford uh, to be hemorrhaging money. <laughs> so I had to stop. Um, because I know, you know, my metrics and it was about a dollar 22 per, uh, view, which is very expensive for a Spotify campaign. So, um, in the last video, I talked about changing a couple things, but I decided, um, to just be more scientific about it, only change one thing at a time so that I can see what's working and what's not working. Uh, I am against the clock here. I'm trying to trigger these Spotify algorithms. Um, release radar is coming up on Friday. I don't think I'll hit this first one, but maybe by next week, that would be awesome. Um, so all I did was just change the targeting. So let's just take a look at the campaign and uh, we'll look at that. And it's actually, this is the easiest thing to do. Um, I was thinking about adding some more video creative, but that's time consuming. Um, I can still do that. But let's just see what the targeting does for me. So uh, let's look at the new targeting here. It's still in review. So I took um, the country acts that I had from my last campaign. My last campaign was in September of 2020. Did amazingly well. Really didn't have to do any uh, tweaking or optimization. I mean, I had a little bit, but um, it just... It did really well for me, but that song uh, sounded more like a Dan and Shay pop country tune. This single is like a different genre, so uh, I don't think the same audiences are, are going to work. So I knew that in advance, but the um, the new audiences I chose were just way off, I guess. Um, so what I did was I went in and I created a... Oh, let's see. Sorry about that. Um different targeting. And I asked some people like, what, what do you think? What would you compare this single to? So I got actually um, some kind of like alt 90s, early 2000s bands. I'm like, okay, makes sense. Uh, Matchbox 20, Rob Thomas, Goo Goo Dolls. So I'm going to see how this does because my other pop audience was younger, like Ed Sheeran, James Bay. And, um, you know, also, you know, I'm in my mid 40s. So these bands probably make a little bit more sense anyway. So that's it. Um, I'm trying that. This is the update for today, and I'll check back. If it's not hemorrhaging money, I'm going to let it ride and see if the cost will come down. Um, so I'll keep you guys updated. Very first thing I'm doing is editing my targeting. If that still doesn't work, I'll see what else I can do. Um, I might have to get into the actual uh, video itself. But uh, let's start here, and I'll keep you updated. All right, check back tomorrow.